Your mouth quiet. You'll scare the fish away. <laughs> Kazumachi, the stars tell me there is bad luck for you with water. You would be better suited doing anything besides fishing today. That Jube, so full of lies. <laughs> Very nicely done, Kazumachi Dono. <laughs> Where's my bad luck with water now? Looks like I proved Jubei wrong. Hold it right there! There's no one to run, Josuke! Yobu, McCoy, what's going on? I am so sorry, Okoy Dono. But my hand has a very good reason for doing what it did. What's that? Your rear end was talking to my hand, begging it to reach out and say hi. Come here. Please touch. Please touch. Cancel boar stew for dinner. Let's have Josuke stew instead. That sounds like it would be way too fatty for my taste. But the good news is, is that we'll have food for months. You don't want to do that. With fatty meat like this, those lovely buttocks of yours might expand too much. You never learn, do you? If I were you, I'd be sick of getting beat up. I was joking, but a koi dono uh, has no sense of humor. You should just be happy she didn't follow through with her plans to cook you for dinner. <sighs> I was gonna ask Simon to disguise himself as me so I wouldn't get hurt. But I never asked him. Wise up. Simon's skills have limits. He couldn't transform into a body like yours even if he wanted to. It was worth a shot. I know. You don't want to escort Genosuke-sama. Of course not. Think of where he's going. Why would anyone want to go to that awful place? I never would have imagined Genosuke-sama agreeing to an arranged marriage with the enemy. The rump of an Iga princess? Oh, sounds so unappealing. It's probably tough and lumpy. Who would want that? Don't worry, no one will find us out here. All the men are at their post keeping watch for any signs of the approaching Koga, so we're safe from curious eyes. But you're not keeping watch. Shouldn't you be with the other men? <laughs> Another set of eyes out there would do no good. I'd rather be right here, where I know what I'm looking for. Yashamaru. On second thought, maybe this is not the best time to steal away. Yoshimaru, Dono. I ask you to help me to calm my nerves. I fear doing anything embarrassing or clumsy. Give me guidance so I do not shame my people. Please, watch over me in my time of need. Ogensama. When I agreed to present Obro-sama to Hattori, I had expected something a bit more proper. Tenzin, why is your hair all curly? I was not made aware that the Koga would be represented as well. We are bound by the No Hostilities Pact. There is no need for such concern. Very well. Pardon me, Ogensama. The Palanquin is ready for departure any time. When it 
go play? <laughs> I have no understanding of why you would choose such a young child as the heir of Subagakari, especially since she is not even your own child. This bloodline has many more who are better suited for such a position. Not that silly little girl. When you see the heir of the Koga, you will know why. Danjo of the Koga and Ogin of the Iga. Neither has ever found a mate among their own. Each chose their successors from their distant bloodline. But both these children possess the power of the eyes. Kyo Hachiro. Yes. It will be boring to listen to grown-ups. Let's go outside. <laughs> it's a beautiful day to play. Someone will come along to get you when we're done. that the eager are nothing but disgusting and cruel. Cruel? No. Yeah, and your village stinks too. But that's not true. Our village is a wonderful place to live. Why do you say that? For when we have wild rabbits. We have those in our village too. But our rabbits are colorful. I've seen brown ones, gray ones, and sometimes even black. Back home, we have white ones all over. is always sparkling. Sparkling... sunshine? <laughs> Everyone back home treats me very well. Nanki swings me high into the air with his hair. Kushiro... Kushiro carves me little statues and things. And Auntie Kenya... She likes to tell me stories. <laughs> that sounds really nice. If I can, I'd like to visit sometime. Sure! the young lady your daughter. Perhaps there was a time when we had such a bond, but those memories have faded. I see her growing so quickly into a woman. Obro-sama, you should rest your feet inside the palanquin. But I like walking with you. boy was a Koga. He said they had a nice village. I would think that they do. Uh, can we play with him again? Yes. Of course. <laughs> oh, bro, Sama. Obero-sama! 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 <sighs> there you are. I'm sorry I'm late. You're sweating right through your clothes. And your makeup is completely ruined. It's running down your cheeks like water. Uh, can you fix it? 
We will be cutting it close, but I think so. I've been able to handle much worse situations. <sighs> Take a look. Never in my life have I seen a prettier face. Thank you, Akikinyu. <laughs> Seems I'm quite in demand today. What is wrong with Kagero? She asked me to look at the stars and tell her what would happen with Ginosuke-sama's marriage meeting. I said I would not. Well, that's the same reason I am visiting you. Whatever the stars may say regarding his marriage, it is not for you, Kagero, or anyone else to know. I could reveal what fate has in store for Ginosuke-sama, but nothing will have any effect on the feelings churning mm. inside him. You are right about that. These eyes, they may be blind, but the visions I have behind them are vivid. I can see the fixed intensity of Genosuke-sama. What lies beyond his decisions are becoming reality, for that is where the future of the Koga people waits. Genosuke, only you can decide for yourself. And I will not say that your beliefs are wrong, but this hatred between our people is 400 years old. It will not simply cease overnight. I understand, but my desire is still holding strong. I foresee a day in the very near future, when the Koga and the Iga can shed the shackles of this long-standing feud. We will move forward into a new world, a united clan to change the future for all. Hmm. You are still so young. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> is headed right for us. On my signal, Nenki. Right. You can count on me, old man. Did it stop your hiccups or not? We could scare you again! I got it. We can sneak up during the marriage meeting and lop off Ginnisuke's head. That'll give her a good scare. Nengi! The Ego will not be responsible for breaking the No Hostilities Pact! Huh! I was just kidding. Even I wouldn't do something as crazy as that. That's not a wager I would make. Drink this. Now take at least four sips without any breaths in between them. Did it work? It feels like they've stopped. Hmm? Donjo has just arrived with the rest from the Koga clan. Huh? Oh no, Hakiginyu. There's no need to worry, Oberosama. I'll bring the tea and bid them welcome. No, I want to do that. You have too much on your mind to bother. No, please, let me do it. Uh, Obero! Uh, uh. uh, Shinger, Hodano. <laughs> After your little trick, I guess there's no need for mine. I guess he was trying to scare the hiccups out of her, too. Subagakure. It has not changed. Ever since that day, time has ceased in our village. But no force on Earth can hold back these determined wrinkles. <laughs> you are not the only one who has aged, Ogun. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have brought tea for us. Sama, what's wrong? What? Did he not like you? <sighs> wow. Those Iga guys are so serious about their women. Please, I ask your forgiveness. I brought shame upon our people. I don't deserve what I have been given. That's quite enough of that, my dear. It seems that Genesuke has taken a real liking to you. <laughs> I was told to tell you that he wants very much to see you again. I have always known that your womanly ways would bring you good fortune. Grandfather, there was something different about the eyes of Obero. I could not place it. Ah, yes, you noticed. Obero has what we have come to know as the mystic eye. This means that her eyes can dispel every form of ninja art known to us. However, she has no knowledge of how to control this extraordinary power with which she was born. Even her own people, her allies, can be destroyed by it. She was brought up as a child ignorant of the world that exists between our clans. She was chosen by Ogun as the successor of the Iga people, but she has never been told of that day. I, for one, would love to see what happens if you cast your ninja eyes upon that Iga princess. What do you say? Her eyes are the key to a life without bloodshed. A simple glance from her was all it took. That hawk belongs to Ogun. I pray now. I pray that the Koga and the Iga will truly shed their animosity and move forward into a new world as one. A united clan to change the future for all. One united clan to change the future for all.